Hi everybody, Angie here, coming on to do a process video with you guys. I thought we would work on my three ring bonder journal today. It's been a few days and um, I was putting some things together and I grabbed it. So I was like, you know, today we will, looks like it would be a good day to um, try and work on that. So I pulled out a few pieces that I thought would might go with the flow here and we're going to get right into it see where we left off um, right here I think yeah okay so we got a couple easy pages Let's see what we can get done for as far as the pieces that I pulled together that I thought might look nice now I ran across this digital here and I thought just the color tone basically with the foliage and the Im um, images I thought would look really nice on here. So I chose this page on here to put this on. Now this is a really simple um, layout that I came up with. We're going to do somewhat kind of like an envelope style page. Um, and I just want kind of like a rough tear. So I'm going to attempt. And I never seem to be successful with this because when you're dealing with such a slim edge it always seems to slide but I'm gonna try it again and get just a rough a little bit of a rough tear but I want it straight and hopefully if I just take it slow ta-da how about that it rarely happens for me guys rarely okay and then we will do the same here and we'll just go right across that line And I honestly, I don't know where I got this digital, but I thought it was really pretty. So, I thought, now no matter how I fold this, and there's a little bit more blank edge on that side, maybe I should try and take a little bit more off, huh? Um, now, no matter how I fold this, one of the images are going to be flipped upside down, no matter how we fold it, unless I cut it apart and re glue it and I don't really want that I just want a one piece kind of one and done kind of kind of piece here so I just have to choose if I want this to be the top or if I want this to be the bottom and I think I would prefer the top to be right side facing up so I'm going to fold this like so okay and we're just going to kind of like tuck it in and just make like a faux envelope. That's all we're going to do. Just like that, I think. Yep. Now, I'm just trying to think if I want to put maybe a little strip of something right there. So it kind of, um, you can clearly see the difference and where the flap begins or ends and the other piece begins. Which I did not bring any scrap paper for that but I could use this little piece that I just tore away and we can just put that right there and I think that will work just fine and we'll just ink that up and um, I think that'll be fine just like that so I just like that um, vintage colored look it looks old and worn Green beige kind of color. Okay. And then I think we could probably get away with just using simple glue stick for this. Let me grab my glue book. Did I ink enough of it? I did. Okay. And then we're just going to run it across there. And then we're going to run this right across the edge. <laughs> Excuse me. Never fails. You guys have that problem as soon as you turn on the camera and start talking. I have to sneeze. Or a little, little cough will come out or something. It's so odd. Okay. And then we can go ahead and probably just go all the way around. I think that will look okay. Get a little 
color on the edges. And then with what's left, we'll bring in a little bit of color. Try to at least. I don't particularly care for, and I know it's all me and my blending, but see how you get the circular strokes? I do attempt to just get a nice fade, but sometimes you get those circular strokes in there. And I won't say I like them, but sometimes it's just unavoidable. Bring a little color in. Get those crease lines. Okay, I think that's good, just like that. And that'll be a nice little kind of a little tab uh, el uh, notebook element flap element you bring this in and we're just going to put that down like that and then when you open it up you've got a little bit of spot for journaling just like that and then we just got to figure out a closure what I want to do with the closure and I think I think we're just going to keep it really simple and really easy and all you have to do on that is just line up where it's going to close, make a little line, okay, where the end meets. And I'm just going to do a couple little slits just to tuck in the corner pieces. All you have to do is just put a little slit right there. And you may have to adjust it a bit once you check the fitting and just erase those pencil lines and just something for it to tuck in and actually you could just do one if you wanted one little we need to make the slits just a little bit bigger see how it buckled on me so we just need to make it a little bit bigger okay let's find that one all right see what we've got here yep just like that okay isn't that cute very simple then I thought I'd bring in I was working with some of the um, clusters that was uh, for happy mail from me and I really enjoyed putting that one in there so I got another one and I thought I would just put that little cluster right above there and I thought, or something like that. I thought that would just make a really lovely page. Just simple, but very nice. So we're going to go with that. And let's bring in my glue. We're going to put that down. So how's everybody doing today? Everybody's doing good? Enjoying their Saturday? I can't complain about mine going well sun is out shining bright still quite brisk outside it's only I think it's above 40 today which is wonderful but um, it's still quite cold it's one of those days where it's plenty of sunshine sun's sitting high and you think oh it's a nice day you get out there without the right clothes on and you'll freeze your took us off so it's still cold okay then we'll put this down right here and maybe even a piece of lace or something. What do you think? Um, I haven't put any lace in here yet, have I? I don't know if I have or not. I think I put some. Let's see, what would that look like? Hmm. 
No, that white I don't think really goes. Um, and then I have this cream colored, nice vintage, but it's wide. And I don't know that that would be good either. Let's see. Let's check it out. We won't discard it until we know for sure, unless we lay it down and see how it looks. Maybe just something right like that, even. That doesn't look bad, huh? Let's do that. But I think that's the bottom. I think this is the actual top. Okay, let's do that. I think that's pretty. And it'll fit right between the rings. So it was definitely meant to be. And we are just going to keep it quick and simple, just like that. have to lift this out so I can trim it. Okay. And then we put this down right on there. And as you can see, I was saying it's kind of cold, so I have a nice big thick sweater on out. Because uh, it, it's colder than it th looks out there today. Okay, there we go. I don't think that's too bad. Cute page. Alrighty, I don't want to lose those pins. Put my lace back in there. Okay, let's move right along. Um, what do I want to do with this one? Maybe use a piece of this again. I think that would look nice. Just have a side tuck. Or just a little delicate side tuck on there. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Okay, let's pull that out because I don't want to get glue on the next page. Okay. Such pretty trim. Very vintage. Okay. Yes, that's very pretty. Very pretty lace. Okay. Pull it kind of taut. Okay, trim that off. There we go. I love it. Very simple, very easy. Okay. Have time.
time to dry. That's the opposite side. Okay, now for this one, we get a little bit more intricate. I've got some smaller pieces to work with, what I kind of thought we would work with on this. I was thinking of a nice textured layered tag kind of look. And let's go ahead and just pull that one out as well. Move it aside while we work on it. Okay, so here's our page, and I brought in a couple tags. I thought maybe we could just do like a layered tag, kind of a, with some texture. So I was pulling out some pieces, and I got some butterflies, and some word labels, and numbered labels, and things like that, and um, found this. This is just a um, piece of shelf liner, but I use these in tags and different things uh, quite a lot because it's nice texture, and it's fun to work with. So I thought we would use that piece. It was just laying around as well. So um, let's see what we can come up with here. Um, and to be honest, if I put this right along and fit those right where the holes go, that would probably be good right there. And then just get a nice layered look. But I do want to, I don't want it to be square. I want it, I mean, I'm bringing it in for texture. So maybe cut some of this off. Maybe something like that. Um, and then maybe trim some off down here a little. Something like that. I think that looks good. Um, okay, I'm going to start there. And I'm going to punch out that hole. Okay. Um, and I brought in a couple big butterflies. I thought maybe one of these could be kind of like the focal. And I really like that kind of, it's kind of like a turquoise blue. That one looks better though. Okay, I wonder if we could use two of them. No, I think that might be too much. Um, okay. Then I have this piece of artificial leaf. So let's see, maybe that. Bring in a little green to tie in with the tag. Something like that. And we can actually use this little piece right there. Um, and I'm thinking that blue kind of cra clashes, doesn't it? I've got another butterfly here. Okay. And then I've got some word elements. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Got the word bliss, word journey, and we can actually use that little piece in there too. Um, I'm 
I've got a couple of little butterflies. I got a little beetle, another little butterfly. Maybe that one, huh? Um, dun, dun, dun. We've already got a number, huh? I guess we won't use that one. Well, kind of like that. What do you think? Hmm. It's pretty full. Okay, let's go with that. I think that's looking pretty good. Now just getting everything back down in the proper place. I'll just take my time and we'll just put down one piece at a time. Because if I move everything, I am going to lose the position. Okay. See how well this is going to stick. I think it sticks well plastic to paper, so I think we'll be all right. Okay. I'm not even going to worry about inking anything. Maybe the butterfly on top. We'll just save that for last since that's the top piece. I may bring a little ink to that, but the rest I think I'm okay with. And this is actually the flat side, so I'm going to put the ink on here. I mean the glue, sorry. down next. Okay, and then this needs to go down. We want that overlapping there, and I think I want that overlapping there. Get them straight. Okay. And these here are just um, Tim Holtz tags out of one of his packs. His ephemera packs. So let's bring that right about there, I think. Okay. Is that going to stay? Looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Now we can get this down.
yeah, it's just um, moseying through the dollar store, my local dollar store here in town, and I was down in the kitchen aisle, and I saw the shelf liner a while back, and I was like, you know what, that would be great to use as texture item on tags and journal cards and journal pages, so forth. Um, I love the color, looks vintage color, and so I grabbed a roll, it was a dollar. And I think it's a good buy. And you know, you just cut off a piece here and there. And I'm just positioning it so it fits right over the holes. Yeah, look at that guys, what do you think? I kind of like it. Okay, so now we will bring a little ink in to my butterfly. I don't want to break his little feelers, his little antennas. Okay. Oops. And I think I'm going to leave the edges of his wings unglued. So I'll kind of show a little dimension that way as well, lifting off of the page. And actually, once it, give it a second to dry and catch and stick, I'll grab a pencil and we'll kind of curl the ends just a little bit. Um, and we'll glue his little antennas down. Because they don't, we don't want those to snap off. Okay. And then this. See how well that holds. May have to bring in some super glue. I don't know. But we'll find out after. 10 or 15 minutes. A lot of dimension on this page, I think. Very nice. Very nice. Now, because this is raised, and as well as the piece of the leaf, um, this is going to be raised a bit also, so let me see if I have here, I think I do, some foam tape. So I think I'm going to bring a little piece of foam tape, if you guys can see that, right over to that edge there, or else it's going to be kind of wonky and lopsided. And I'm just going to get it like about a half inch, and we're going to put it, well, that's even too big right there. Cut that down some. And I think I'll only need it on this one corner piece right here, just so that it will balance it and sit straight and it won't look wonky. Okay. Give that a hold for a few seconds. Okay. All right, so then let's um, grab something and curl those butterfly wings. Put the lid on my glue. And I have a broken chopstick here. Kind of glued that almost all the way down, didn't I? We're going to just kind of curl that just a bit. Do 
you see that? Yeah, not a bad page, guys. Okay, let's see. Let me look at that for a second. Straighten it out. And as you can see, that's kind of lifting there. So off camera, once that has time to dry, I will bring a little dollop of hot glue under there. But again, I think that's a nice page. Should we bring some bling into his body there or something? What do you think? Hmm. Feels like it needs something a little shiny. A lot of dimension. A lot of stuff going on. But I feel like it needs... Hmm. Let me look. If I have anything close by that we can use that will fit. Let me grab some bling here. Let's see what I've got. I'll slide this over just a tad. Um, got some white pearls. Not bad. Got blue. Pink, I don't think pink. Here's some green. Ooh. That's pretty. And then we've got some. No, that's kind of hides it, huh? That's pretty also. Kind of matches the color on the bottom of his wing there. But I'm thinking the green, guys. Let's bring in just a few. And let's see how many we need. Six of them. Okay, thinking maybe bring in a couple more. Let's see. Yeah, I like that just like that. Bring that back in. My pages are slipping. Starting to get full, guys. It's coming along quite nicely, I think. And I just noticed there's some butterflies on this here a little bit, so that kind of kind of ties in. Very nice. All right. Um, what can we do with this page? Well, I still got some butterflies left. Maybe we should just do a pretty butterfly page. Kind of stands out nicely against that music note paper, doesn't it? Let's just go with that. Nothing wrong with it. Cannot go wrong with a butterfly. Or a bird or a flower. Those are my three favorite things to work with. Butterflies, flowers, and birds. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I've been going through a lot of butterflies actually over the last couple months also and we're coming into spring. I'm going to have to get busy and do some more fussy cutting. Okay, 
There's our spring journals are around the corner. Some have already started on their spring projects. I haven't necessarily quote unquote started spring yet, but um, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. And that's something I usually do while I'm watching TV, just kind of aimless, easy, fussy cutting. I usually try to do that while I'm watching television in the evenings. Okay. Let's bring a little ink for this little number element here. Okay, pretty good. And we'll put this butterfly down also. The only one thing we didn't find a home for out of the stuff I pulled out was the little beetle. Not too bad. Oh, and this number label. Oops. Yeah, those are the only two pieces. Okay, not bad. Alrighty, a couple more pages and we are done. All right, well, I think that's a good position, place to stop, guys. We got three pages done today. Let's see, where were we? Here we are. Here's page one with a little adorable cluster from Happy Mail for me. A little um, envelope style, full envelope styled um, journaling page. Oops. Good thing I checked that there. It's kind of stick on me a little bit. Okay, nice little element for journaling there with a just a little slit for closure on the corners and a little piece of lace behind there. Very nice. And actually, I think that's really delicate and that looks really nice the more I look at it. That lace with those, um, with the background with the little heart music notes. I think that looks really nice. Okay, then we go to this page. I think the um, paper itself speaks for itself. It's very nice, muted, nice colors. And we just have a nice little um, side tuck there. So we can put a, journal, a couple journaling cards or tag or something there. And then this page, and I like that. I love the texture, very nice. Okay, so we've got quite a few elements on that. We've got some flat back pearls. We've got some artificial um, leaves. We've got some texture with the um, plastic uh, shelf liner. Um, we've got the wings raised. <gasps> Excuse me. Got some word elements. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to stop, Paige. We've got three pages done, guys. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really like the way this page, this uh, binder is coming along, as you could see, still got plenty of room, but we are almost done. I still have not decided what I want to do with that cover yet, but uh, we're getting there. I guess I have to make some decisions here pretty soon. Okay, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so very much for spending time with me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Until the next video, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.